For me, a trip to Tasmania isn't complete without tasting some of its wonderful seafood. I met up with Roger Scales at Woodbridge, who three years ago changed direction in life to start smoking his amazing ocean trout. So what actually brought you here, Roger? Um, I found this beautiful property yeah. in a magic part of the world. I thought, well, I'm going to build a smokehouse and I'm going to use the apple wood. What a fabulous challenge. Interesting that smoking was always a necessity for preserving. Now it's been turned into a totally different art form. It's all about flavour and texture and, and presentation. So there's both cold and hot smoking. They're done quite differently. Essentially, hot smoking is cooking the fish. Cold smoked, fish is only cured. You can't go over 30 degrees. With cold smoke, yes. we finish it off with celery top. It's an indigenous Tasmanian wood. It's a pine, but it's a hard wood. And of course, the different woods give the flavour to the fish. That's right. Keeping a smokehouse going for cold smoking is considered an incredible art. I mean, how have you gained that? Ah, uh, well, that's, that's, a, that's a fabulous question. <laughs> I have a guru. Oh, you have a guru? I have a guru. <laughs> he's an old man, and he passed the baton over to me, and he's regarded as certainly Tasmania's premier smoker. So how much of the process are you really going to tell me about? Well, very little, Maggie. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can say this. Fish arrive oh. as hogs, head on, gilled and gutted. We then fill it. We then brine in our magic process. Yeah. We use certain herbs and spices. We then pin bone, wash, we then dry, and then we smoke. You know, I, I want to have a look inside. Shall we go and do that now? <laughs> mm. Apple smoked ocean trout. Mm. Delicious. And this particular one is whiskey cured. Oh, is this a new thing? Nobody knows about this. This is. Oh, and no one knows about this. <laughs> Not now, anyway. <laughs> Thanks so much, Roger, because I think you've got an amazing product here, and I'm going to take some back to the Barossa, and I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet, but. I'll let you know. Well, I look forward to it, Maggie. I'm very flattered and honoured that you've come down here to have a Thank you.